it's Robin from The Balanced Life, and today I'm going to be leading you through a 30-minute Pilates reformer workout. Today's routine is going to touch on the entire body. It'll be a full-body workout, and I would say it's about beginner to intermediate level. So before doing any reformer workout, it's important for me to note that you should be experienced with your reformer before doing an online video. You should have had some kind of training and know the safety um, and recommendations for how to use it best for your body. So this is not an intro to reformer workout. Um, I'll create one of those and have it on my YouTube channel, but this is just um, for people who already know how to use their reformer and are looking for a great full body workout. Okay, so I'm going to start um, on my reformer with a heavy load. So that's going to be different based on every reformer. So rather than necessarily telling you how many springs, I'm going to use kind of heavy, medium, and light. So for me right now, that's four springs and I'm going to go ahead and lie down on my back so you can join me. The headrest is flat and as always, take a moment to just get situated on your reformer. So use your hands to make sure that you're right down the middle of your carriage. You've got equal length and distance on both sides. And just rest your heels on the bar. Let's take a nice big inhale and a nice big exhale. Just letting the body relax, start to feel the collarbone open, tension melting off the shoulders. Starting to breathe and just transition into your workout. Let's take the heels sit bone distance apart. Take a nice big inhale and as you exhale, flatten your back into the reformer and then just release back to neutral. Just little pelvic tucks here, flatten the back and release. We'll do about five like that, starting to find some movement through the pelvis and the lumbar spine. Good, and let's roll it up into a full bridge, articulating your spine one vertebra at a time. Just go as high as you feel comfortable for your first one. So it's morning here for me on a cold day, so I'm gonna take a little time to warm up. Inhale at the top of your bridge, exhale. Start to articulate down through your spine, one vertebra at a time. Again, using those deep abdominal muscle, muscles to peel up. Keep your knees reaching straight forward over your toes, active in your inner thighs. Inhale and exhale, starting in the back of the throat. Articulate your way down. Let's do four more. Initiating with the deep abdominals. Active in your inner thighs, stretching through the knees and slowly rolling back down. Good, rolling up, press into the heels, reach the knees, reach the fingertips and soften your way back down. Let's do two more. Really giving time to warm up the spine. Good, last one. Try to press equally into both feet. Good, and then rolling down. Take both knees, hug them in towards your chest. Just a little rock side to side. And bring both knees to tabletop position. You're going to reach around and grab your pegs. Let your elbows fall open. Draw your rib cage down into the mat. Squeeze your inner thighs so your knees are together and your ankles are together. As you inhale, rotate at the belly button so your shoulders stay planted and glued onto the mat. Exhale, bring it back to center. This is supine spine twist. Inhale, twist to one side. Exhale, draw belly button to spine to bring it back to center. So this is very much an abdominal warm-up. Deep in that connection. Really use those abs here. Don't let your knees slide forward or back. Keep them perfectly stacked. Collarbone is wide. Good. The hips will lift. The shoulders will stay flat, ideally. <laughs> and exhale to center. Good, one more to the left, inhale, and exhale to center. Place both heels down, inhale, the arms come up. 
exhale, curl up, and just reach for the foot bar. From here, just float the arms up. One. Good. Two. Just nice high chest lift. Belly button is drawing in. Drop the tailbone down. Four more. Inhale. And inhale. Good. Two more. And roll your way back down. Okay, bring your legs all the way together. Heels are touching, toes touching, knees touching. Inhale here. As you exhale, press your way out to straight. Now take a moment to make sure you're in neutral spine. So you have that little space between the small of your back. Ribs are closed, lower back long, pelvis is flat. All right, from here, flex right at the hip crease to come in and exhale to push away. Inhale, flex and exhale, push. So this flex right here is super important so that you don't flatten your back to bring you in, right? We wanna keep that neutral pelvis flexing right at the hip crease. Now the inner thighs are gonna to work to squeeze. Good, and squeeze, nice long legs here. Three more like this. Pulling the pelvic floor up. And come in to hover just above the bar, little pulses. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stretch it long. Good, and come back in. Just step the heels apart so they're sit bone distance apart or hip distance apart. Still in your neutral spine. Belly button pulling up and in. Full extensions here. Lengthen out. And inhale. Exhale and inhale. Good. Keep that pelvic floor lifting as you push away. On the next one, come in and hover right above the stopper and little pulses. Nine, eight, seven. You'll feel the burn here. Five, four, three, two, one. So you can do a medium to heavy weight here on your footwork. Come on down so the ball of the foot is on the bar. Heels are lifted and they're not in a high, high lift and they're not flat. They're a couple inches lifted. So I like to call it your church go and heel. Pretend you're not in your stilettos, but your church go and heel. Inhale, keep the heels stable as you push away and bring it in for 10. Careful not to lock those knees. Just think of lengthening the leg and lifting the thigh muscle. Good. Two more. Flexing again right at that hip crease and right at the knee. On the next one, come in, keep your heels right where they are, sit bones are wide, little pulses. Nine, eight, seven, feel the burn, six, five, four, so good for toning your legs. Two, one, press it out nice and long. Beautiful, and bring it in. Now the heels come together, knees open, hips externally rotate. Draw the abdominal wall in, inhale, exhale, zip up the inner thighs, and bring it back in. Pilates stance. So think of your sit bones here. As you press out, your sit bones narrow. As you come in, your sit bones widen. That's how you can maintain neutral spine. Good, really zip those inner thighs. It's almost like you're pulling the back of your thigh together. Good, last one, press it out. And make sure those knees stay right over your toes as you come in to hover, little pulses. Nine, really feel the burn here. Seven, six, five, three, two, one. Press it out, zip it up, and bring the carriage back home. 
Good. Take your heels to the widest part of the bar now. You're in a nice external rotation, hips, knees, and toes in alignment. Don't over-rotate. Bring it into a nice safe place to work from. Inhale to prepare, exhale to press out. Here your sit bones widen and narrow and widen and narrow. Good. Inhale. Exhale. One more. And come into hover, little pulses. Oh, you guys, I feel this. Four, three, two, one. And lengthen and bring it home. Last position here, come to the ball of the foot, staying wide, external rotation. Inhale to prepare, exhale to lengthen the legs. And two. Good, really press through the ball of the foot. Abdominals drawing up and in. This is how we build those long, lean leg muscles. Nothing works better, I tell ya. Last two. And you know what's coming, those little pulses here. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Four, good. Five, six, hang in there. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Press it long and bring it home. Good. Okay, bring the feet back to about sit bone distance apart. Follow the foot on the bar. Inhale to prepare, and as you exhale, press out. From here, we're going to prance the legs. So one heel goes up as one heel goes down. Push through both feet to switch sides. Push and switch. So go as slow as you need to to stay stable in your pelvis and to keep your alignment going knees right over the toes. Get a nice movement and stretch there through the Achilles tendon. And if you feel comfortable, you can kind of pick up the pace a little bit kind of a running, but lift that pelvic floor. Make sure you're staying really strong and engaged through the midsection. Good, now let's lower both heels and just stretch. Ah, uh, my favorite part. Let the heels lengthen, relax the shoulders. Good. Now kind of massage your foot on the bar, so roll it out. Walk any tension off on the bar there. Feels really good. Ooh, I have some tight feet. Good. And lift the heels and bend the knees to come in. Okay, roll to your side to help yourself up so we can change our spring tension. Um, I'm going to bring it down for me to a medium weight. So we're doing single leg work. So you want medium to light here. Okay. Go ahead and roll yourself back down, both heels on the bar, and sit bone distance apart. You're going to keep your right heel on the bar and take your left knee to tabletop. Inhale to prepare, exhale to press out. Good. And two. And three. Keep that left knee right in the tabletop position for now. Good, on eight, you're gonna press out and hold. Extend that left leg to the ceiling. Draw the leg down into your hip socket. Nice, stable pelvis going into leg circles. Circle it around one. And two. Three. Four. Five, we're doing eight. Six. Seven, stay as stable as you can through the core. Reverse it, circle it around and one. And two. Abs are really working here. Four, collarbone wide. Six, seven, one more. Eight, good, and come back in. Just step the left heel onto the bar. Right knee floats to tabletop. Extend one. And press two. 
This is great for alignment here, making sure that you stay balanced from the left side to the right side. One more. And extend that right leg to the sky. Draw the abdominals in, cross over midline, circle the leg down around and up. And two, three, four, five, stable through your midsection, six, seven, let's reverse it. Circle it around, one, two, three, four, you've got it. Five, six, seven, and eight. Bend the knee and come back in. Okay, we're rolling back over to your side to push yourself back up. That's the best way to get up. Let's go to one spring. Okay, so abdominal work. We're going to roll ourselves back down. Coming into position again, find center on your carriage. This time you're going to find your hand straps. So take a moment to make sure that your straps are equal in length. If they're not, go ahead and hit pause and take a minute to adjust them. We're going to reach the arms straight through the straps. Fingertips stay long, floating your right knee to tabletop. Find that neutral pelvis, engaged core, float the left knee up as well. So I've got some space between my knees here. Take an inhale and as you exhale, nod your chin towards your chest. Come up into chest lift, reach those fingertips long and lower back down. So I need to adjust a little bit. If you feel like you're hitting your shoulder blades or your shoulder blocks, just adjust. Here we go again for 10 here. This is two. And three. Good, lengthening to come up. Try to maintain that neutral spine. Last two. Come up and hold. Good, and pump the arms. Inhale. Exhale. You could certainly extend the legs if you're looking for more of a challenge here. We're right into the hundred. Exhale. In. Out. Two, three, four, five. Lift that chest. Out, oh, two, three, four, five. Pump the arms. Four more breaths. In, two, three, four, five. Out, oh, two, three, four, five. In, out. Oh. Last breath. Good. Lower down. Arms are going to stay straight to the ceiling. From here, we're going to straighten the arms or the legs to the ceiling. Draw the arms down by your side. Your collarbone is wide. Draw the belly button in. We're gonna scissor the legs only as far as you can, feeling really strong and stable through your midsection. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Wide collarbone, strong midsection. If you feel it in your lower back, make your movement smaller. Good, five more. Five, four, three, two, one, both legs up, bend your knees, and come back in. Beautiful. Okay, let's roll to the side. Help ourselves up. Change your springs now to light to medium. So it's seated arm work. So I have one heavy red spring on. That's what I'm working on today. Okay. Which is going to be hard for me. So you'll see me <laughs> working. I won't look, make it look easy. So you're seated at the back of your carriage with your legs straight through your shoulder blocks. If you need to bend your knees to get up on your sit bones, that's a great modification. Otherwise, keep them straight. Know that's what you're working towards. Place your hands down into your straps. Align your spine, draw belly button in, and just press straight back into the arms and sit tall. Good, exhale and inhale. Three. Good. Try not to let your shoulders climb up your back. Four. Grow tall through the crown of the head. Collarbone is wide. 
This is great for core stability and upper body. Last two. Good, now from here, flip your palms to the ceiling. Bring the arms into a bicep curl, tuck your tail, roll back about halfway. Stay here for bicep curls. Your forearm or your upper arms stay still. You just bend and extend at the elbow. Shoulders are set strongly on the back. Four more. Draw that belly button in. Good. One. And come up and just let yourself stretch forward over the legs. Ooh, that feels good, doesn't it? I'm a little tight today. Rest your straps onto the pegs and let's turn around to face the foot bar. Okay, let's sit cross-legged today, but I'm gonna give you choices. So, so you can sit cross-legged or you can have your legs going straight out in front of you. That's more challenging. Um, it's great. I highly recommend it. It's what I usually do, but if you tend to get stuck in your hip flexors or you're still working on your posture, try sitting with bent legs instead. You could also be here if you need it, okay? We're gonna take our hands through the straps right between the thumb and the pointer finger. And palms up, tuck your elbows in right by your side. Good, take a moment to align your rib cage over your pelvis and head over your shoulders. Okay, as you inhale, prepare. As you exhale, slide the arms forward like you're serving someone food on a tray. And just tuck your elbows right back in. Serve the food and bring it in. So the movement of your arms should not affect the position of your trunk. is core stability as well as upper body work. Looking good. Good. From here now turn your palms to face one another. Shoulders are set strongly on the back. Open. This is hug a tree. Close like you're hugging a great big tree in front of you. Open and squeeze close. Stay in control. Your arms should stay in your peripheral vision. Sit tall. Good. Three more. Good, and then bring the arms back to the peg. And just give yourself kind of a little stretch of your head and neck just to loosen things up. Okay, coming to the side of your reformer for a quick stretch and again on one red spring. You're going to rest one knee on the carriage. Bring your standing leg towards the front of your reformer. Square your hips off to your foot bar and allow yourself to sink back into a runner's lunge. So you really want to think of drawing this front hip back and your right hip forward. You're gonna get this beautiful stretch through the front of your right hip flexor. Relax the shoulders on the back. Now if you go like this, you're gonna lose half the stretch. So keep your torso long. Good. Bring it in. From here, you're going to straighten your front leg and sit back. So again, this is for this hamstring now. So really think of drawing that Standing leg back into your hip socket. Square your hips off. Good, and one more time in each position. So runner's lunge. Great for your hip flexors. Good, and hamstring stretch. Wonderful, okay, let's just come on over to the other side. So set yourself up so your standing leg is right at the front of your reformer. Knee is resting, hips are squared off to your foot bar. Sit back into a nice runner's lunge first. And remember, here you shorten the stretch. Lengthen your psoas comes up 
and connects all the way up to kind of your mid back. So the more you can lengthen your torso, the more stretch you'll get through your hip flexors. Relax the shoulders and sit back into a hamstring stretch. Now you're thinking of drawing that standing leg back into your hip socket. It's not about how far back the carriage goes on this one. That's just kind of a natural movement of the carriage. One more time in each position, runner's lunge. Lift up and sit back. Beautiful. Okay, we're gonna do a quick plank on the reformer and then I'm gonna end with hip work because that's my favorite way to cool down. So come on to your reformer. Hands are on your bar, knees are on the carriage. Hands should be wide enough that you feel like you could go into a push up and feel secure. Okay, I'm on one red spring. Mine's a heavy one, so I would maybe go one red and one blue. Um, you can play around with it, a red and a yellow. You want it to be loose enough that you are challenged, but not so loose that you feel out of control. Okay, take a nice big inhale. As you exhale, come up into a plank and send the carriage back. Your hips should be in line with your spine. Draw your belly button in. We're gonna slide straight forward and slide back. The movement is coming from the shoulder joint. Slide forward and slide back. Keep your lower back long, heart coming forward between your arms. Good, four more. This is called long stretch. I'm working, you guys. Last one. Good, and lower your knees down. Beautifully done. Now again, going to medium to light. Hip work is not supposed to be heavy. So it's not for your legs, it's for stability. So if you've been in a studio where they're piling on the weight for hip work, I encourage you to try on lighter spring and see how you have to work to control yourself. So I like to go again on one red on my reformer at my studio, I do a red and a blue. So let's go ahead and roll back onto our back. Headrest can be up or down, whichever is your preference. And we're gonna take our feet into the straps. So push one leg off, hook one foot in, other side, good. Let's go ahead and just straighten the legs to find our position here. Collarbone is open, we're relaxed and centered on the reformer. Let's start with leg circles. So I'm gonna have us go with external rotation today. Press down into the straps, open the legs, circle them around, still externally rotated. So your goal here is to maintain pelvic and core stability, right? Not about pushing a bunch of weight with your legs, it's about staying stable and controlled. Let's breathe. Four more, you can tell my reformer needs a little bit of WD-40, it's a little squeaky these days. Gets lots of use. Reverse it. You can put your thumb on the bottom of your rib cage, your pointer finger on your hip bone. If you need some a tactile reference as to whether or not you're staying stable and maintaining that neutral spine. Good, circle the legs around, come to a 45 degree angle. Heels together, toes apart, externally rotated in the hip socket. For frogs, bend in and press out. So I want you to think of opposition here. So we bend in, sit bones widen. As you press out, can you think of pulling your belly button away from your heels? So there's this feeling of being stretched in both directions. As you push out, you lift the pelvic floor and draw the belly in. Length through your heels, but lift through the trunk. Think of pressing the backs of your thighs together.
Last two. Good, now we go into extensions. So bend, pause here, keep your abdominals and trunk stable. Extend the legs out to the side. Circle them around. Bend to come in. Here the carriage stays still as you open the legs. And circle around. Bend, here's where the carriage stays still. And the carriage moves again as you circle around and bend in. Carriage stays still. Squeeze and come in. That's how we really isolate the movement. You'll really feel it in your inner thighs. Let's do three more in this direction. Two. And one. Good, now we get to reverse it. It's always a little bit of a brain teaser. Open the legs. Keep yourself stable and still. Carriage stays still as you bend the knees and bring the heels to touch. Carriage moves again as you press down and open. Here's where it stays still. And we move. And stay still. And press. Good. And press. Allow your sit bones back of the pelvis to move. Three more. Now just press out and hold. Now you're on this long diagonal line. Imagine there's a shelf right underneath your heels. You're gonna drag the heels open and squeeze them closed right along that straight line, that imaginary shelf under your heels. Squeeze and squeeze. You're gonna feel your inner thighs here. Squeeze, good. Six more. Relax those shoulders. Meet right in the middle. Notice if there's a lot leg that's dominating and try to balance that out. Last one. Good, and bend your knees and just come into a little happy baby stretch. So just let your hips relax. Stretch for your lower back. Good. Legs come out. Let's come into just a nice stretch for the hamstrings back of the leg. Hold here. Try to keep your hips down. That's how you're gonna get the deepest stretch. Put your headrest down if you have it up now, and then just let yourself kind of come into a folded stretch. It's okay if your hips come up. Good. Optional exercise for those who are really comfortable with the reformer. We're gonna do a quick short spine. If you're not sure what this is, please don't try right now. Just stop and watch. We're gonna let the legs come up till we feel the carriage hit the stopper. Using the abdominal muscles, we're gonna lift up, bend the knees, and articulate the spine back down with control and pressing out into frog. So we let the legs come up until we feel the carriage hit the stopper. Use the abdominals and upper arms to roll up, bend the knees, articulate your spine one vertebra at a time, pressing out. Let's do three more. Use those abdominals here. Long lower back. Good, two more. Deep abdominals. And press out. Last one, get this nice stretch on the back of the leg. Deep abdominal work. Keep your lower back really long. Try not to lower your hips as you bend your knees. And then start to roll down. Beautifully done. Okay, bend your knees. Let's take the feet out of the straps one at a time. Good, roll onto your side. And coming up, make sure you get your 
bearings again, and you guys are done for the day. Thank you for joining me for this full body workout. There's so much more we can do on the reformer. So I hope to be back with more workouts soon. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Please subscribe to my channel if you love Pilates and be sure to check out my website, thebalancedlifeonline.com. See you soon.